hello youtube welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel well, my name is prince so in this tutorial we're going to go uh, over introduction to pandas so what is pandas you might be asking so pandas is a very very famous tool in data science okay so what pandas is is just a, a, a tool that is used for data analysis and data manipulation in uh, uh in uh, python okay it's written in python programming language so uh, python is really 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 very important in case you are want to do data science data analysis uh, data visualization machine learning artificial intelligence you can do without pandas okay so pandas is very very important now there are other data manipulation tools out there but pandas is the most uh, famous mostly used so one of the reasons why P P pandas is uh, very famous is open source is free and it's very fast and it's uh, written in python which is a very easy programming language to use so this makes it easy for many people to use pandas because uh, python is uh, very easy to write and understand okay so now that's all uh, there is to pandas so in this tutorial we'll go over uh, how to use pandas and how to use data manip how to do data manipulation uh, and data analysis using pandas so uh, if you don't have python uh, installed on your computer you can just go to python.org and you can install python after that you can use the pip command on your terminal to to install uh, pandas so if you have your own windows you just say pip install and then sorry this is install and then you specify pandas so this will go ahead and actually install for you pandas if you're on linux like me uh, you might need to put in here pip3 install pandas in case you're using uh, pip3 okay so uh, now uh, i assume that you already have pandas already installed if you don't know how to install pandas i have a tutorial on my youtube channel on how to install jupyter notebook which is this uh, editor you're using and uh, how to also install pandas and among with other libraries that we we'll use throughout uh, this series so you can just go back and uh, refer to that video okay so now let's get started uh, we are going to go over data frames and a uh, series in by pan, uh, pandas so the uh, first you need to import pandas in order to use it just go ahead and actually import pandas uh, we usually import pandas as pd so you can import it as anything you want but uh, commonly it is imported as a pd so pd stands for pandas okay so now that you have imported pandas we can uh, do a lot of uh, we can begin actually learning how to uh, how to work with pandas so the first thing that we we'll go over is a data frame so a data frame is just a table in by in, in pandas so, okay so whenever we have a collection of columns and rows that is a table and a table in pandas is is, written, is uh, referred to as a data frame so uh, in this tutorial i'll show you how to create a data frame and also show you how to create a series so a series is just a single column of that table that's what a series is while a collection of rows and columns is actually what we call a table which is a, uh, a data frame okay so to, do, to create a data frame i'll just call it df which is a data frame you no know, uh, pd which is pandas dot data frame and then we can create a data frame here. so i'll provide in a dictionary so in here i'll just specify uh, the column name so the column the first column the uh, column name will be name okay so the name and then we provide an iterable here we'll use a list so you can provide uh, different names for example you can use uh james you can uh, use uh, maybe just provide some random names julia and so on okay and then uh, later i'll show you what i'm actually uh, how the table will actually look and then i'll explain this in more detail so we can also say helena and then we can uh, as actually specify here mary okay so now that you have done that uh, you can go ahead and actually create another column so this is just a, a normal dictionary in python which is having key value pair but the key will be the name of the column and the value is actually a, an each row a list because it contains the different values that you know, that to be in each row of that specific column so you can also come here and specify maybe the location of where these people live and we can specify another each row so we can go here and can say uh the so you can just specify any name you want here maybe um you can go for uh, z a r and then you can go for uh, any other name so this must also be four so we can also say here maybe new york city or something like that and then here we can go and say uh washington dc just like that okay so after that we can go ahead and actually provide in another column so in this column this will just be um their, their ages okay so we want to work with some numerical value so say age uh, age and then we can go ahead and actually provide the age of the people so this is also a list so this could be maybe 29 uh, 30 
43 just like that so we have four of them so now that you have done that we can just uh, uh, run this we we'll just run this cell and we can just go and do df and we can see we have that data frame right there so that's how you can create a data frame in python uh, using pandas okay so that is known as a data frame uh, otherwise you can uh, think of it that it's like a table having rows and columns okay so the values of the dictionary that we provided in became the column names right name and location and age became the column names and then the values within them became the the, the rows right the data within the rows or the, the individual cells so you can see the first name is james and then the last one being mary and it forms follows the order that in which we place them in okay so you can actually use uh, by default we have an index already placed for us so you can actually change this index yourself so you can just say index maybe you want to use alphabetical indexing so you can get uh, this would be a string so a we can go uh, b and then c and then d okay so this will also work and then we can, if i run this cell again you can see our indexes have changed so that's how we can create a simple uh, data frame in uh, pandas okay so now let's go to uh, ahead and see how we can create a series so let's call this s which is series i'll go pandas uh, pandas dot uh, series so and then in here i'll simply provide uh, an, a list so a list of things that i want to create so i'll simply just copy this and paste it here so I'll copy this and uh, i'll paste it right here and then we can go ahead and actually specify index or we can leave it as default or we can also specify the name of that series so we can just call it uh, names uh, names just like that and you can go ahead and actually print that s out and you can see we have a series right there so that's how you can create um i think you can even specify in the, the index and then you can actually let's just copy this index so that we can save time so i just copy this index and move it right here and then i'll paste that there and then i run this and you can see our indexes have changed as well so these are the individuals uh you can see these are the individuals uh individual rows while a, a collection of rows, uh, columns rather, the collection of columns uh, becomes a data frame, right? So a collection of series is a data frame. So each data frame is the column, right? So that's how you, uh, they are, they, what the difference between a data frame is and what the series is in, uh, in Pandas. So in the next tutorial, we are going to look at um, uh, how to actually read our data from CSV because you know you can be typing out we don't usually work like this we actually read data from either a, a database or a, a CSV file the most commonly used or an Excel file something like that so I'm going to show you how you can read a data frame uh, from an, a file instead of actually typing all this out yourself and then from there we can really begin to see the real power of pandas uh, so that's why I want to end this tutorial today. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I kindly ask you to hit the subscribe button and like this video. So see you in the next tutorial. We'll be going over uh, how to read uh, how to read uh, data from CSV files. So thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.